Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we made it to Planet Gaspar, and come to think of it, I could have played that info bar from Gaspar just going into your map. Just select the planet with your analog sticks, or actually it's... Uh, it's L1 and R1, and then you just play the info ball belonging to that respective planet. Of course, I cannot finish Battalia yet, because we still need the Magna Boots. So for now, we might as well just go to Gaspar, and there's only one mission that's to the south. But, I guess we could go west instead, because there's another landmass over here. So why don't we go check that out? Because I do believe there is a skill point you can get somewhere in this level over here. And that involves those giant ships that are being refueled. So, we might as well take this little detour and find them. You see these bombers over there? Those are the ones we need to take out. This, that was not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Well, it's not the hardest part, but it gets harder later. Okay, now to take out the uh, bombers, you had to just hit their fueling stations. To do that, obviously, you gotta aim for this. You blow that up, it goes all the way to the ship, sending the ship pretty much into the drink. A very fiery drink, if you ask me. Just how I like my hot sauce. Not drinkable, but I mean, very fiery. Not too fiery that it's just not enjoyable at all. However, I do like a fair bit of heat. You can also use your wrench against these feeling docks as well. It can be confusing to find out where to go, but by destroying those bombers, you're able to find the swing shot areas. Now this, you have to be quick, as soon as you land, it's gonna sink. These metal pipes, not so much. Because they're pretty solid. Oh good, Devastator ammo. I could really use some. And a lot more bolts as well. So where's the de where's the bomber ship? There should be one around here. I might be missing it or something? Cause I got thinking there was one around here. Unless I gotta go up. I don't think so. I mean there's no way I can get up there. Uh, there probably wasn't any in this particular area, so I guess I can just leave. If I did miss one, then well, it's obviously going to be a disappointment. Careful. Good thing I was able to get a lot of practice with that swing shot. Whoa, jeez. Surprise attacks, not so much. Yeah, I, I saw that uh, explosive barrel right at the last second. It's a good thing I wasn't much deeper. Oh, there's another one of those feeling docks around here. Just gotta get to the other side of this. I think I should get rid of you. Perfect. Alright, there's another one over here that I can easily take care of. Beautiful. Ah, here we go. I was kind of wondering where I had to head to. Wait. Is there something else over here that I could easily miss? No, no, that, that was like the uh, fueling platform. I got rid of that. Perfect. Now, I know there is one platform nearby that actually has four of these ships. Or is it three? It doesn't really matter. Either way, you gotta destroy them. I think I'm pretty much near one of them. Did I go that Yeah, I already came from that way. This must be the last part right here. I just gotta take this lift. And that should be the rest of the ships. 
if I recall. So I'll just blow them up! Luckily they give you some nuts and bolts as well. I think the last one is actually through that swing shot area. So let me take care of these. Maybe there was only just one ship in that spot. And the rest are over here. Yep, I see more than one. I feel bad for anybody that's practicing this, and then they get so far, and then they fall into the lava. Because, you know, that could have easily been me. If I was reckless and stupid. Okay, I'm reckless, but I can't really say I'm stupid. Well, not very stupid. I make my mistakes. Oh, and I see a gold bolt over there as well. That's cool. Camera gets a bit janky whenever you destroy those ships. Huh, I didn't get the skill point. Maybe I'm missing a ship somewhere. I think I am, so I might have to do this over. Just look around to find what I missed. But, for now, I guess what I could do is, well, obviously get the gold bolt. There. I have to do this whole circuit again just to find out what I missed. It must have been something so simple. And I'm gonna feel like such an idiot once I find out what it is. Well, at least there's a hovercraft will send me back. On lava, pretty much. What will they think of next? So I'll have to do this again, unfortunately, but luckily I probably only need to look for one. And then after I find it, I can pretty much just jump in the lava and get sent back to the start. And it's not going to be a major loss. Huh. Is it going to send me back here? Where am I on the map? Oh, God. That's pretty far from where I was, too. Explain that to me. I think this platform will just send me back to the start. So you know what? I might as well just look around this one particular circuit to see where is the ship that I missed. I bet you it's going to be in the most obvious area, and I'm going to feel like such an idiot afterwards. So, you know, give me a couple minutes, and I'll be right there when I find the ship. Okay, I'm back. I managed to find the ship. It's right over here, in this little area. Now I just got to find out where the whole platform is, or the, you know, the fueling dock. Probably gotta get to the other side of this little here mountain, and I should be able to pick it off. Can't believe I missed it. Like, I could have gotten it when I was around here. Oh my god, I, I feel like such a tool now. There, once that thing sinks, I should be able to get that skill point. Wait, there, there, there was. Oh, never mind, there it is. It's just a bit of a delayed reaction. Okay, so I'm pretty much done here, so all I need to do is, well... Oh, apparently you don't instantly die. Well, you give it a couple bounces. I should get some more Devastator ammo, you know what? Hi there, Ugh, that's expensive. But I figured I might as well. Alright, since I got that out of the way, I don't need to worry about it ever again. So, I guess we'll go this way. There is another skill point you can get here, and it involves one of those big turrets. We should be able to have access to those. Oh yeah, I might need to destroy this. Oh my god, what the hell? Please tell me that's not a Gatling rocket launcher. Didn't like the 3D Ninja Gaiden games have those? Oh my god. I think those enemies are the reason why the blaster is so efficient. Is this the right way to go? I might as well just continue on. Oh, good thing I didn't invest in bomb glove ammo. Uh, I guess I can't go this way. This looks inaccessible to me for now. Now, I did notice this. This kept activating on its own. Oh, this must be the turret. Well, 
Well, I did need to destroy some ships, and that's one of the ways to get the skill point. I don't know if this is the appropriate turret, or I needed another one. Actually, I don't think it should matter what turret you use, as long as you use a turret. So I'll just hang around here and destroy some ships for no reason. And you thought Drake was evil! Ha ha ha! I'm just destroying transports, because I can. Where's your freedom now? Yeah. You should have learned to walk! Then you wouldn't be dead. Good thing there's unlimited ammo in this turret. Probably could have used it for combat, but I really... What's there to shoot anymore? That's an enemy. I gotta keep track of where the where the ships are always gonna be, so that way I can just get my shots ready for them. So you might want to fast forward through this until I actually get that skill point. I can't go up any higher. Oh, this might be. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. So those turrets actually do come in handy if you actually hit your target. Not saying you always will, but you can always give it a try. Wait. Can I use this turret on that? Of course, that's what the turret was for, to actually get through the rest of the area. Those are mines! Yeah. I'll just let them blow up on the uh, turret control. Note to self, take care of those things from a distance. There's another one. Hey, prick, how's it going? Now you're dead. Hmm, there has to be an easier way to deal with these things. Maybe I should use the Devastator on them? There. Well, let's give it a try. Is the Devastator good against these enemies? Yep, they blew up, so... Oh, that's why they keep coming. The hatchery... Ah! It was over here. That's why I use the bomb glove instead. What? So the Devastator works, but that does not. Okay. Lesson learned. Oh god, another one. Man, it's hard to avoid the blast. They obviously can't be respawning, can they? Yeah, I can't use the bomb glove on that. So that's what I need. That's where the turret control is. Hmm... Can I use the mine glove on it? Let's see, I don't think I need the pyrocitor anymore. Like mine on mine! That could work, you know, if it actually approached. The taunter. That's better! That actually worked! Uh, maybe that needs to be a little bit more efficient. There, just bring them together. I don't know if the sock cannon would work really well against it, though. Because what if it explodes right towards me? Th that could happen. Thank you. Now we should be able to continue on. I bet you I can leap from there, can I? Yes. Okay, this is actually going pretty well. I'm learning a lot of new things. I can tell why this game is so popular. See, if I make mistakes, I'm not gonna bash the game. It's usually my own fault. <laughs> uh, like this! Well, I got some health back. 
But it could be too little. Oh, jeez. It's over for me. Yep. Didn't even die with dignity. I pretty much, like, just died with my tail between my legs. Like, it's not even have a tail. I don't think so. Oh my god, you actually gotta, like, take care of that door again? That's gonna be, like, permanent. Huh. Oh well. Obviously not. I do have to do it again. I guess we want more nuts and bolts. I mean, so be it. No, I'm gonna see those mines again, so why don't we actually try to suck in it? Actually, I'm on the fire side of things, I might as well just use the turret on them. Oh jeez, I forgot there was one still there. Uh, that's my Devastator. I mean, yeah, Devastator works, but I'm gonna suck in it. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Gatling Freak won't even, like, go towards it? Oh, I don't have to do this. Oh jeez, I think I'm gonna have a bad thing worse. Oh yeah, I, I should move. Now this thing is aggroed. There! Didn't really need to manually aim. Getting a little bit better when it comes to these enemies. Did they just go in the lava? He did. Is there anything I won't think of next? Oh, that was bad. Oh, that could have worked out a little bit better. Wow, they got a nice bit of range. Okay, my strategy against mines could be a lot better. As evidenced by the fact that I'm down to two hits. Let me try to blow the... Oh, wait, that's just natural enemies. Going to the hatchery and everything. Oh, God, another mine! No, I went in the lava! Okay, I'm doing pretty bad at this. <laughs> Oy! This is not an easy planet. Idiot. No pun intended. Not pun, more like irony intended. Hey, this is gonna take a while unless I can find a way to easily dispatch those mines, because as soon as they catch onto you, you're pretty much sunk. Don't tell me the Whopper would do the trick. I, I doubt it. But, I mean, what other options do I have? Let's just give it a shot. It might work. It also might not. You know, punching mines is not exactly the easiest thing to do. I'll just go for the ones in the distance. I know there's one over here. Oh my god, that actually works. The Whopper is good against mines. Because I don't really think, you know, just hitting it would do the trick. If it did, that would be like the ultimate surprise. Oh, let's just try like a regular wrench attack against this mine. It sometimes works. I mean, you just gotta hit it enough times. And then you're pretty much safe. However, it's much easier to just, you know use the walloper because then you can just like uh, get it out of the way as quickly as possible yeah you get like a dashing attack too that's pretty neat and that's like pretty decent targeting so you know this might actually be a go-to weapon against mines you don't have to use any ammo. You just gotta go charge in there and attack. Of course, there's still the risk of, you know, just running off and dying by falling into lava. But it seems like something we can easily mitigate. Just by, you know, being closer to land. Common sense will prevail in this universe. There we go. I'll just give it one more try, and once I complete the mission, or if I die, whatever comes first, I'll end the episode here. We made a nice bit of progress. It may not seem like it, but still. I got two skill points, and, you know, one gold bolt out of it. That should count for something. Good, I was able to get them all before they detonated. Excellent performance. Oh, that's a lot of tanks. Oh, and they're all ready to play. So I think this is where my Devastator's gonna have to come in. Actually, I think the Mind Glove would be better. I can throw a few mines. I don't know how many you can have on there at once. And then we'll use the Taunter. Oh, 
Well, it's working on the boxes. Are they actually hitting each other? I think I have no choice but to use the Devastator. I have to keep, like, jumping over their attacks so frequently. Or I'm just hiding behind the tanks. I think I'm just gonna have to hide behind the tanks. Wait for them to stop attacking and then get in closer. Okay, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. It took out the ones that aren't attacking! Okay! They'd be a future threat, yeah, that's understandable. But wait for me to actually get there. Can I aim at that computer? I think you could. There, there's nothing to protect. Oh, jeez! Okay, you you had me fooled. All right, let's just go to the blaster for now. Oh god, I'm like one hit from death. I did not get that nanotech, did I? Because I was pretty sure I was at full health by the time it was there. Yep, good. Okay, obviously my skills need a little bit of improvement when it comes to these enemies. But it could be a lot worse. There, that's one. That's the last one. Perfect. I have to use the turret on this, don't I? There we go. Am I actually destroying monitors? Is that going to really help me much? Whoa. Practically destroying a lot. Just give me some money and ammo. Good. Man, I'm crashing this base. Go this way. Oh, close to the end of the mission. Good. Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. I think we're going to have more combat. Well, this is where the Infobot video took place. Eh! Walper! Wow! That was close! I actually thought I was gonna get hit there. You all thought it too. Admit it. Oh, there's a gadget here. Is that the pilot's helmet? Well, it looks like a helmet, so yes. Now this is cool. There, with the pilot's helmet, we might be able to commandeer any ship. Okay, perfect. Okay, there is one place you can go. To get another gold bolt, and I it's somewhere around here. Yeah, you have to drop down this spot. However, it's very, very difficult. So you know what? I might as well just like take this platform because it might be a permanent shortcut. There we go. With this pilot's helmet, we can pretty much operate any ship. Well, maybe any ship. But it's definitely something we required. Now the next place we actually have to go is Orkson. And we'll do that planet in the next part. Or I can try to get that gold bolt in that volcano. Whatever comes first. See you later everyone. Thanks for watching.